Okay, so now we have our character in After Effects. All of our layers are here. And now you want to position them to however they should be layered. So if the leg is supposed to be behind the body, then you should put it behind the body. If this leg is supposed to be on top of the body, then move it. So on and so forth. So now we're going to click on this little puppet pin tool up here on the top left. And you're going to... Oh, before that. Make sure you rasterize the layers. That's going to keep them nice. So now we put our puppet pin tool. Select your layer. Put your puppet pin tool on your character. But now, when we move it, everything moves with it. Think of the pins as weights. So if we have them down here on his lumbar section, he will be weighted down. And everything above that will move. So we'll put it at every joint. So his elbows. Look, he's a pirate now. Yar, BT. And we can put it on his wrist, and then one at the fist, so his fist will move. And if you click your pin, then that's the pin that's going to move, that's going to read all of these triangles. These triangles have a lot to do with how smooth your movements will be. The more triangles, though, the more overwhelming it will get for your computers to try and keep it at a minimum. And you can show and hide your mesh by clicking this checkbox. And the mesh comes in handy if you want to starch or overlap something in your character. The overlap tool is pretty self-explanatory. If you click it and put it at a section of your puppet, then it will read these triangles and whenever you move that piece it will overlap the puppet. See how that works. See how it kind of overlaps right here. Okay, so that's that's that. And now the starch tool. Um, if you don't want something to wriggle around and to seem unnatural, then you're going to starch your character up. And that will keep it from moving disproportionately and strangely. Unless you have like a gypsy or something like that and you want her to be really wriggly. Yuck. Okay, so let's see how that moves. Yep. And once you have it the way you want, you can hold down control and click one of your pins and that will actually read the movement and it will scroll along the timeline. And that comes in handy. So now when we play it, his head moves and it just read our action. And that's the puppet pin tool.